Hi everybody, welcome to Zyro Green's YouTube channel. My name is Tuna Ne. Today is the part three of the video series, how to start your skincare business. If you only watched the other two parts, you can find links for them in the description down below. Um, today we're going to make products. So I'm going to make a DIY, a uh, 10% niacinamide serum. Why did I decide to do this? It's because niacinamide serums have been very, very popular, especially with the popular brands, they're bringing out uh, niacinamide. And also don't forget, niacinamide have multiple benefits for your skin. The main thing is it has brightening properties. Also niacinamide is known as vitamin B3 powder, but the main thing is the brightening properties and also evening out the skin tone, as well as um, boosting collagen and also keeping the skin firm and keep the elasticity in place. So it's very, one, this is the reason why it's so popular in the skincare industry. And today we're going to make 10% of niacinamide serum with added hyaluronic acid. So let's get onto it. First, I'm using a jeweler's scale to get the measurements accurately. It really helps to have the small pocket scale. And I'm using, I'm using a 50 milliliter beaker because I'm going to make 20 gram of the serum. Next, I'm using an aloe vera juice. Um, you can also use distilled water or floral water as a starting uh, in ingredient, of your, of, which I'm going to provide in the formula. Um, so I'm just adding the aloe vera juice and next I'm going to add the niacinamide. It's 10%. Niacinamide is 20 grams. So it's going to be two grams of um, niacinamide I'm adding here. So I said you just need to dissolve this in the water first um, to get it clear. Um, you need to dissolve it very well so that you can get this all clear. So mix it all, all together in the, in the water or in, in here, in my case, it's aloe vera juice. So mix, 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 mix. <laughs> Um, make sure it gets all clear. So once it's all clear, then you can move on to the next ingredients. Um, I'm just waiting to here to completely uh, clear out. Um, now also next is gonna add the glycerin, which is you need a humectant. So I'm, I'm using 5% glycerin. So it's gonna be one gram of glycerin I'm adding here. So um, it's you need uh, something to hum hum as a humectant. And next, we're going to add our preservative. So the main job of the preservative is, so I'm using here a Duratad Preservative Echo. So you will need a preservative because it's a water-based product. So definitely you need to have a good shelf life for this as well. So unless you're not gonna consume in a couple of days, but you'll need a, a preservative system. So I'm adding a preservative echo. Um, I'm adding one gram, so it's only 1% I'm using. So I'm just counting the droplets. <laughs> um, next, so now we mix the ingredients all together, just to blend them all together nicely to uh, incorporate all the glycerin and the preservative echo all together. So you, as you can see, it's quite clear the liquid. So after all this mixing, we're going to add our star ingredient, which will be uh, a hyaluronic acid. The reason I'm also using hyaluronic acid here, here is to also use our uh, jellifying ingredient and I love sodium hyaluronate because it's, it's going to give us all this humectant and all this moisturizing properties that is going to boost all the moisturization for your skin. Um, here I'm also using a mixed hyaluronic acid. As you know, hyaluronic acid has a slower Dalton and a higher Dalton amount. So lower uh, lower amount of hyaluronic acid, it is actually doesn't very really jellify next, like it doesn't jellify much, but a higher amount, higher Dalton hyaluronic acid, um, it keeps, uh, gives a nice gelling texture. As you can see, as it first, the way I add it normally is you need to incorporate this in the water. You can just add it straight away, but it will take some time because hyaluronic acid needs to hydrate first. And as you can see, I'm mixing a lot, but um, it's okay if it looks like a clumpy, which is normal, but just keep hydrating. As you can see, it's clumped a lot. So just keep mixing it. Um, and once it has a little bit of mock texture, you can leave it. You can leave it there and then just leave it to leave it overnight to, to for sodium hyaluronate to uh, moisturize itself to get hydrated here i'm also adding cucumber extract of three percent so i'm going to add 0 0.6 grams of this cucumber extract um the reason i'm adding it is because cucumber is very hum is very um soothing and it will also comforting uh, extract that you can put on your face so uh, i love cucumber and has a bit of a little 
It has a really nice cucumber smell to it. So I love using cucumber extract. So here I added the um, cucumber extract. Now um, all we're going to do is blend them more and then just leave it overnight to hydrate. As you can see, I'm blending it more. And as you can see, sodium hyaluronate become even clump more. And that's normal because it needs to hydrate quite a lot. Um, it, it leaves, at least it needs three hours, but overnight is better because then we'll have the nice gelling texture. So just keep um, hydrating it, keep stirring it. You will need a little bit of time, but you can just leave it on its own as well. So that's all good. Next, we need to measure its the pH. Um, you need to measure its pH to be skin compatible. Ideally, five point, around 5.5 .5 is okay. Here, I'm getting 5.8, which is all right. Um, you can use a lactic acid as well to reduce the um, pH slightly, but because it's so close, it's kind of like, you know, clo um, a judgment call there. So once it's all uh, mixed all together, next we're going to cover it up so that nothing falls in it. And you just keep the sodium hyaluronate to hydrate overnight. And then we have a nice little gel texture for next day. So it's 24 hours later, I emptied the um, serum into this nice jar bottle. As you can see, it gels quite nicely and I'm putting on my hand to, for you to see. It's, it's very, very nice gel texture, very smooth, very silky. That's why I love hyaluronic, sodium hyaluronate. It's just a, such a nice, nice gelling texture properties. I'm spreading on my skin. You can see it's easily spread. So it's a really beautiful texture skin, uh, texture feel to it. Um, and that's it. This is how you make your uh, niacinamide serum. Thank you for watching.